In this video, I'm going to react to Food Wars US Dominoes versus UK Dominoes. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. This is the place where I react to music, media, sports, anime, anything related to popular culture. I'll watch it with an open mind and give you my 100% honest reaction to it. And if you could please hit that like button early, I'd really, really appreciate it. Yes, another Food Wars video. I love these because you get to see a sort of side-by-side -side comparison of the US version and the UK version of a, of a fast food. Domino's Pizza here is one of the big three pizza places. So we've got Pizza Hut, Domino's and Papa John's. Those are the three big ones. Uh, pizza Pilgrims is starting to come up, but it's still nowhere near as big as those three. I My favorite is probably Pizza Hut and then Domino's. Because Domino's, I find that they, on the base here, they have these like crunched up sunflower seeds that kind of tear up my gums a bit. I'm not sure if they still have that, but yeah, I, I do like Domino's sometimes to be fair. So this one's going to be interesting just to see, you know, I'm sure the, U, the US versions are a lot bigger, like a large is probably bigger than a large here and things like that. I wonder if you get more for your money as well. So yeah, this should be fun. So let's go. This is going to be me reacting to Food Wars, Domino's versus <laughs> UK Domino's versus American Domino's. Let's do it. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all wow, the- so our boxes are different as well. I thought you guys had the same kind of boxes we do. ...differences between Domino's Pizza in the UK and the US. This is Food Wars. Mm. This is the small- That margarita does look pretty good. ...smallest pizza you can get in the UK. It's called an individual and it measures seven inches across. Our smallest is, believe it or not, the small. Mm. Here it is <laughs> and it measures in diameter 10 inches. That's a lot bigger. The next size up is a small, which measures 9.5 inches. Wow, so our next up pizza is smaller than your smallest pizza. <laughs> That's funny. Next size up for the US is our medium, which is 12 inches. Uh. This is 11.5 inches. Well, I'm starving. <laughs> hey. I grabbed the slice. I'm starving. This pizza smells so good. I bet. Breakfast. I bet it does. Next pizza. Next up for the US is our large, which is a 14 inch diameter. Mm. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so they're, they're comparable in size. They're not too much smaller. They are visibly smaller, but it's not too much. What's with the way they cut your large pizza, Harry? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> And not to be outdone, the US has one more size, the extra large, diameter 16 Ooh. inches. Bro, look at the size of this thing. I mean, now a two point. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. So this pizza only has six slices. Why aren't there more slices? You could easily double the amount of slices here. Bro, look at the size of this thing. Thank you. That thing is Now, huge. a 2.5 inch difference might not sound like a lot, but if you factor that into the surface area, it's actually 58 square inches wider mm. than the UK's largest pizza, which is almost a third of an increase. Wow, a third. Am I looking at this right? Is it supposed to be six slices? Yeah. It's six slices. That's, that's, can't be right. That's what I'm saying. Six slices for an extra large pizza? Look at the size of these slices. That's what I'm saying. Those slices are way too big. <laughs> way too big. In the US, at a Domino's, the extra large pizza will cost you a very reasonable $13.99. Wow. Hmm. That is very cheap. That is 201 square inches, which breaks down to roughly seven cents an inch. That is so cheap. Nice. What? Now, shockingly, $13.99 will only get you a small pizza yeah. in the UK. A small pizza is 9.5 inches across. And that gives it a surface area of 71 square inches. We're getting ripped off, Now, if you off, divide man. the $13.69 price tag by the 71, you find out that you're actually paying 19 cents per square inch. Wow, almost three Ultimately, times. Ultimately, it means that if you went into a US and a UK Domino's with $13.99 to spend, you'd be able to get more than double the pizza for your money Insane. in the US store. 
Man, we're getting ripped off over here. <laughs> this isn't fair. <laughs> what the heck? Let's compare large cheese pizzas in the two countries. This is what a UK large cheese looks like. And this is what a large, properly cut Domino's cheese pizza looks like <laughs> in the US. It's cut into 10 pieces, mm. and each slice contains 176 calories. That means that in total, the pizza in the UK is 1,760 Ooh. calories. Instead of 10, we got eight slices. That means each slice is roughly 280 calories, Whoa. which makes the whole pizza 2,240 calories. Wow, so basically that means whenever I get pizza, and I usually get a large pizza to myself, but I'll have half on one day and then half the other day. So I'm eating over a thousand calories in that meal. <laughs> Holy shit. And according to the thing that was written for me, that is almost 480 calories more than the UK large. Yeah. But why is that exactly? Let's see if we can get any clues from the ingredients. Gosh, I want to eat some pizza. Let's start with the foundation of any pizza, which is the dough. In the UK, the dough is made of wheat flour, a wheat and milk premix, rapeseed oil, water and yeast. Yes, but here in the US, our dough is made of Enriched flour, wheat, oh God, I hate reading this stuff. Enriched flour, which is wheat flour, iron, thiamine, mononitrate, wow. niacin, riboflavin, and folic acid, water, soybean oil, and it contains less than 2% of the following. Sugar, salt, whey, maltodextrin, dextrose, dough conditioners, such as sodium, stereol, laxa, <laughs> lactylate, I don't know, it's on the screen, you read it out loud. Enzymes, calcium sulfate, Absorbic acid, calcium phosphate, L-cysteine, good for hang- What the heck is L-cysteine? <laughs> Hangovers I hear, yeast and cornmeal. Wow. Uh, yeah, much different. A lot more chemicals. <laughs> Who saw that coming? <laughs> How about the cheese? Domino's in the UK refers to its cheese simply as mozzarella, and it's mostly because the ingredients are just that. Mm. And in the US, Domino's doesn't, possibly can't, call their cheese mozzarella. Instead, oh. they refer to it as pizza cheese. So, the Domino's in the US's pizza cheese <laughs> has the following ingredients. Oh Part boy. skimmed Here we mozzarella go. cheese. Okay, which is pasteurized. But what's the, pa what, what percentage of, of mozzarella cheese? What percentage? Milk, cultures, salt, enzymes, modified food starch, cellulose, cellulose, non-fat milk, whey protein concentrate, natural flavors, and sodium proponiate. Ah. Prop Propionate. <laughs> Prop now let's look at the pepperoni. Most of the ingredients in US and UK pepperoni are actually pretty similar. Mm. They both contain pork, salt, dextrose, spices, sodium nitrite, citric acid, flavorings, and starter culture. What is starter culture? What is that? Is that like a preservative to, to keep it fresh for longer? You know, the only difference is that our pepperoni contains beef. Also, preservatives, butyhydrate, hydrolazanase, and butyhydrate, and blah, 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 BHA and BHT. I can't pronounce them. They're bad. It turns out BHA and BHT are actually subject to restrictions in the European Union oh. and can't be added to foods such as pepperoni. Ah. This might be because studies have shown that BHA can cause tumors in rats and is therefore reasonably anticipated to be a carcinogen. Oh my God. Whoa, hold, hold on a minute. Domino sh shouldn't be allowed to put that in their pizzas then. In humans. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna die doing what I love. <laughs> Eating banned chemicals. Fair play, mm. fair play. We reached out to Domino's to get some clarity on the pepperoni situation. We got our info from their ingredients webpage. However, when we checked with them, they told us that their information was incorrect. And they've updated it since to say that BHA and BHT have now been removed from the pepperoni. Nice. I think this happened at some point during 2018. They couldn't say exactly when, but Joe, it sounds like you're okay after all. Nice, awesome. Man, that pepperoni pizza looks so good. Oh. Here are all the items you can only find on the menu at a UK Domino's. And here are all the things you wow. can only get at a US Domino's. Let's start with the pizza itself. So firstly, mm. it's the crust options. Now in the UK, we can actually get stuffed crust, but what we've gone for here is the Italian style crust. 
Apologies to the country of Italy for this one. <laughs> now the Italian crust oh is basically God. the same dough, but just thinner and therefore a bit more crispy. What are your favorite pizza toppings, guys? Mine are pepperoni, mushrooms, uh, mixed peppers, uh, spicy chicken, sausage meat, and um, I'm forgetting one. Which one am I forgetting? Onions, I think. And I, I have like a barbecue dip as well. Oh, it's so good. What are your favorite pizza toppings, guys? Let me know. There are a few toppings that you can only get on your pizza in the UK. These include some options we've got here, like meatballs, sweet corn, and red onion. But that's not all. You can also get things like Catalan chicken, which is a chicken in a kind of paprika spice. You can get tandoori chicken, which is chicken with some Indian spice blends. And you can also get tuna on your pizza. Whoa, wait, did he say tuna? <laughs> tuna on a pizza? No, no way. So this right here is a pizza that has everything you can only get at a U.S. Domino's. First of all, the crust. It is our thin Brooklyn-style crust. Instead of tomato sauce, we did an Alfredo white sauce. Uh, we got banana peppers on here, salami, feta cheese. Banana peppers, never had them before. Uh, and also Parmesan and cheddar. This should be known as the U.S. only. Like Pizza Hut should have this on the menu and you go, give me the U.S. only, and this is the pizza they give you. Yuck. <laughs> Don't get this. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. <laughs> Grab a slice, see what you think. So here are some U.K. sides that you won't find on the menu at a U.S. Domino's. First of all, we've got the garlic cheesy bread, chicken kickers, which are just like nuggets with a spicy coating. Pretty recently, they've added these poppin' chicken bites to the menu, which are kind of similar to KFC's popcorn chicken. Mm. You can also get chicken strippers, which is just kind of like chicken tenders. Potato wedges, if you wanted some kind of potato option to go with your pizza. And then you can also get a tub of coleslaw. I don't think we have garlic cheesy bread, but we do have this, which is like a stuffed cheese bread. Also the side, they have these uh, chicken pieces, and mm. then, those look interesting. What are those? It looks like they're covered in some kind of sauce. These right over here, these Parmesan cheese kind of bread knots. Oh, Also, yes. I think it's pretty cool. This Domino's will hook you up with a side of grated Parmesan. That's pretty mm, nice. That is pretty cool. Chicken carbonara, which is a uh, pasta dish with looks like obviously chicken, uh, bits of bacon, onion. That looks really good too. In the US, Domino's offers a lot of different varieties of sandwiches. Um, I just picked one, I got the chicken parm sandwich. Let's take a look at that right there. Look at that chicken parm. Mm. How good does that look? Classic garden salad. We found something green on the menu, which is nice. Um, what's we got here? Tomatoes, onions, cheese, lettuce, croutons. Sounds pretty reasonable. Like, to be honest, when I get, when we get pizza here, my sides are usually just barbecue wings. I just love barbecue wings with my pizza. What do you guys get on the side? Or do you just get straight up pizza? Who cares? Now the default dipping sauce that will come with your pizzas is this garlic and herb dip in the UK. But there are also a couple of sauces which are exclusive to the UK. These include a little pot of Frank's red hot sauce. Mm -hmm. And we can also get a honey mustard. The Domino's in the U.S. has their own exclusive sauces. Uh, this kicker hot sauce, um, the sweet mango habanero sauce. This one mm. is really good. Uh, ranch, you guys don't have ranch? Thought you did. No. Guess not. Blue cheese dressing. Mm. And of course, marinara sauce. And finally, if you're someone with a sweet tooth, Domino's has some exclusive dessert items to the UK. Firstly, we've got Domino's cookies, which are actually like really good, especially if you get them when they're warm and they kind of stay warm wow. and they rest How on the pizza How have boxes. I never tried these? And then you can also get a range of Ben & Jerry's flavors uh. from Domino's in the UK. They're like a licensed vendor, which is cool. And for dessert in the US, you can get either these marbled cookie brownies or these chocolate lava crunch cakes. Mm. Uh, they also threw in this, the sweet icing, I'm sure it's amazing, so you can pour more sugar all over the sugar. <laughs> Let's put some icing on the lava guy. Look how thick oh. that is. Wow. Oh! That thing is thick. That's too much. Stop. Thick. Uh, I, gotta get, I, gotta, I gotta get this. I'm gonna like eat this whole tray. I gotta get this out of my face. I'm ready to de destroy these brownies. <laughs> Oh man, that pepperoni pizza though. Now I'm desperate for some pizza. I mean, 
any like the sight of pepperoni pizza for me just instantly makes me hungry because I can just smell the pepperoni you know that that fragrant aroma that it has yeah just so yeah let me know guys what are your toppings of choice because I've been literally eating the same pizza for the last sort of three years so I'm, I'm ready to, to switch it up so I need some ideas let me know what your pizza of choice is in the comments thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe turn on bell notifications and keep throwing the recommendations my way. I know I say it all the time, but they genuinely help me out because if I know you enjoyed watching something, I'll definitely enjoy reacting to it. So like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, keep throwing the recommendations, and I'll catch you in the next one.